What's up guys, and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, this is mostly going to be for people either just starting the story for this game, uh, who are maybe wanting to start a new game for some reason, or for people who had their save corrupt and have to start over. This is going to be how you can clear the story mode fast and easy. Now, what you're going to be using is pretty much a passive skill, and this thing will carry you straight through story. Uh, you'll be able to beat the Reaper Apostle with it, and you can kind of beat the Knight, but uh, you'll need to get some better gear at least to make it a, l a little easier for you. But this, the skill is going to be in the Spear skill tree, and I'm going to progress in the game a little bit to where I can get all that stuff unlocked. So I'm going to cut right here, and then when I come back, then we'll get into how you can get it and... We'll you know how you how just how you can get the skill early on so gonna cut and i'll see you guys then Boy. all right guys so now once you get to this mission right here at the top you see at the top left fighting for a wish this is where medina will join your party for temporarily so once you get to that then you want to just come back to uh rule it and you want to go to the blacksmith here, which is pretty hidden, I'd say, besides the icon on the map. But you just want to come this way. Go right over here. And here's the blacksmith. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to craft the spear that is here. Which is this right here. Now you can see right there, I don't have enough money. So I'm going to have to sell some stuff, but you want to craft this. So once you get enough money, uh, you can just sell some like trash materials that you won't be needing right now. Um, like for example, um, you can go to your inventory and then go to like a shop or something. You can sell some stuff like uh, pelt, water resistant hide, uh, probably the tree branch. Um, you know, some of this stuff, apples, the bone and meat, all of that, that you could just pick up around the maps. Uh, sell those just till you get enough money. Because let's see, I have 200 right now. So, kind of close. But, uh, I'm going to cut right here again and just come back whenever I get enough money for that. Now, also, if you're wondering where you can go sell uh, some items real quick in Ruled. Uh, right here, this is the village entrance, so right when you come in to this teleport point right here, you want to just come over here, head to the right, and there'll be this guy right here, consumable vendor. So right here, you can just sell your uh, stuff from him, hit L1, and then just sell some stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and sell just all of these, um, childhood outfit won't need, rosemary leaf won't need. Eat tater don't these so as you're going through like some parts of the story till you get to that uh like i said till you get to where medina joins your party do pick up like these materials just so you'll be able to like sell them and when you kill mobs too they'll give you some of the items you can just sell these as well so right here gotta sell the water resistance to high because don't need that beast fangs I can sell because don't need that but we already got enough money but that's this is where you can sell so now I'm just gonna head back to the uh, the smith so once you're here back at the smith go ahead and just craft the uh, the spear so go ahead and craft that So once you get that, go ahead and equip it. And what will happen is, is that when you equip it, the spear skill tree will now be unlocked over in this category right here. You can see the icon, but you can also uh, just see it right over here. So this is the first thing you're going to be getting is that but you're also going to make your way over to agile flurry so get that first agile flurry so unlock this right here pick up agile flurry and you'll see right here normal attack power plus 800 percent 
plus it'll give you strength 5%, but what this does is it boosts your normal attack damage by a lot. So your normal attacks will be doing a lot more damage. And then this one right here, single-minded will, this also boosts your normal attack by a thousand while you're in super arts and also boosts your attack by 5%. So you'll want that as well. And then clear flash, I would also say use this too because you'll get more super art duration so you can, you know, use the single-minded will more. So basically now what's going to happen is I'm going to change back to the one hand and I'm going to go ahead and equip all these. But first I'm going to show just just how it does with uh how much damage you'll be doing without Agile Flurry, and then how much you will be doing during Agile Flurry. I'm also gonna go over where you can get the materials to make this spear. So right here with the uh, the spear, you'll need iron ores, which I will show. Carapace shard, I'll show. Those are from crabs. Beast claws, which are from lynx type enemies. I will show where you can uh, kill those as well. So right now, I'm just going to cut and we'll go to a mob and just fight them. So right here, going to fight this level 10 Twin Horn. Uh, one thing I also do want to mention is that when you're doing the normal attack, um, if you turn on semi-auto mode in your game settings, which is right over here, semi-auto mode, uh, I can't turn this off right now. I think I got to get to a certain chapter to turn it off. But once um, once you can like turn that, I think in, when you start the game too, you can choose whether to have it on or not. But once you can turn that off, I suggest doing it because then you'll be able to use your super art. So right there you see only finish art and the square button, there's nothing. That's like ally skill, but uh, there'll also be one for a circle and that'll be super art. But uh, semi-auto mode turns super arts off so can't use them but the other reason you want to turn it off is because right here auto skill connect it'll do it'll change sword skills for you just at like whenever you're just pressing square and you don't want this on because the agile flurry and single-minded will it doesn't add to your combo finish it's just your pure normal attacks but for example also for the semi-auto mode uh, you can use it for the whole story if you want to, but I myself wouldn't. Uh, but it'll use sword skills that you don't even have. So right here you can see for one hand I only have Sonic Leap and Vertical. But when I go over here and do it, he's gonna do like Savage Fulcrum and I think Vulcal Strike. So right there is Snake Bite, Savage Fulcrum, and Vulcal Strike. And keep in mind I only have Vertical and Sonic Leap, so it's doing sword skills I don't even have unlocked. But so far, just doing like just start like straight normal attacks. You can see we're doing pretty decent damage. Not too too much, but pretty decent. And this is also like I said, without the uh, this will also be without uh, single-minded will because we can't use sparks right now. So once you'll be able to do super arts, it'll be more. So now I'm gonna come back to this and I'm gonna use Agile Flurry instead so you can see how much we'll be doing. So now that we have Agile Flurry on, I'm gonna attack and you'll see the difference. So just with me doing just straight normal attacks, you can see this is doing a lot of damage to me. And keep in mind, like, whenever you get, like, more, like, better gear, you get, you know, more passives, more combat skills, this will be a lot more damage that, uh, stuff will be taking. But pretty much for anything in story, this is going to kill them very quickly. Um, you can still use sword skills, like I said, whenever you're in super arts, you can still use them to trigger chain bursts and all that. You can also use AIs to trigger chain bursts to do more damage, but um, 
this is generally uh, the easiest and um, the easiest and I guess almost like laziest method you can do but it is pretty fun I will say so now that uh, I've already shown all that I'm gonna go to where you can get all these materials and get them you know pretty quickly up in the game so first things up is going to be the iron ore and I'm going to go where you can get that right now so first location for iron ore right here is towards the top of the map where you end up going in the cave with Yu-Gi-Oh to save Selka and it's right here on this little ledge it's right here pick it up got one I think the last run I got two but I think you can also get some up here in this cave but what you can do is come up here walk up inside the cave then walk right out and then that'll respawn this one right here this is just chunk of snow silver you can also use that to sell if you want but just walk in that cave walk back out and it'll respawn and you can just do that over and over until you get enough to uh enough that you'll need to make the spear so next thing i'm going to go to is to where you can get the character shards from the crabs so i'm going to show you some locations where the crabs are so right over here this is one of the first locations where you can encounter crabs so right here you can just kill them and if you're lucky enough you might get enough shards from just these up here in this area so kill all these over here and they're right next to this uh the boar we had just killed as well so this is the one location now i'm gonna move to the next one so next location is right over here near the giga cedar so you want to come over here go down this path this is actually the path where you come up whenever you first start the game and you can just jump right over here just get a little quick shortcut and you'll see some crabs right down here so you can go ahead and kill them quite a few of them over here you can see some more right here You'll probably be able to get enough, like I said, from that first group I showed. You can, If you're lucky enough with their drops, you can probably get enough right there. Or over here, you'll probably get enough that you need. But there's that little group, and then right over here, you got like a bigger one you can kill. And then some smaller ones right here. So you can kill this one, and then some more just right here. So that's pretty much all the locations for the crabs for you getting character shards. Now I'm going to show you where you can get the uh, the beast claws because those are kind of they're, they're they're not in this area. But once you do once you first encounter Medina, you end up fighting three lynxes. They can actually drop uh, beast claws, but I and whenever I just went to go do them, uh, I didn't get any. So. Uh, if you're lucky enough, you can get them there. And like I said, that's when you first encounter Medina and you do that fight with those three lynxes. But the area you want to go to is right down here. You want to go to the forest where you'll continue to progress the story. So I'm going to go there and show you where you can get lynxes there. So once you're here in Revalier Forest, this will be the second area in the game you go to. Uh, this will be where you go right after Medina temporarily joins your team. You just want to go here, and there'll be just like this little pathway right here. Keep following it, and you'll run into some lynxes. So right here, here's one. Go ahead and kill it. Right there, Beast Claw. Keep going up this path. And then here's another one. But you see also with that Agile Flurry, it just, it just murdered him. Granted, he's like five levels under me or six. But that's just one hit. And then this is this little group you can fight right here as well. So you can go ahead and fight this guy. And he can also drop him whenever uh, you kill him. A chance though. It's right there. Got them. Three of them. And then right here you got another Lynx. Now I think there's some other ones in this map. But I would just kill these. 
and if you don't get enough in your first run then just walk out of this map and then walk back in and I'll just respawn so that's pretty much it for how you get the materials how to get the spear get the skill uh, one last thing I want to mention is like on this map you see like that golden chest icon right there those are one-time chest items and if you're wanting to like buy gear or buy weapons like from vendors in this game like early on I'd say don't do it because these one-time chest items can have gear up in them and they can have weapons in them so this one if I remember right is a rapier you can get here so if you want a rapier you can get it from there and up in Loden Mountains, right down over here in this area, there is a one-time chest, and that gives a bow, which is pretty good. So, like I said, if you just want to get, if you want to get other weapons, I'd say don't don't buy them from the shops. Just get them from the one-time chest items. Um, I, I would rec I would highly recommend opening every one-time chest item in a, in the map before you go to the next one. Because there's some pretty there's some pretty good gears you can get there, but that's pretty much gonna be it for this. I uh, hope it helps for anybody who's just starting the new uh, like the game, who want to do story without too much trouble, and for people who just want to like breeze through it. So that's pretty much gonna be it for this video. I will also link the spreadsheet I have for the one-time chest items if you want to see what kind of gears they have in that, where to get them at. Um, and just what they have, like stat rolls, what, what combat or what passes they can have. So, until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.